When you go back and read Beck again, you remember all the kick-ass rock scenes when they're up there jamming <laughs> with their guitar, but you kind of forget the the comedy, sexual comedy, the jokes, the high school bits that fill up the majority of the manga, at least the first part. <laughs> I forgot how much of a focus there is on his high school life in this series. It was kind of fun to kind of go back and read the series and remember that. Yeah, I like I didn't remember the story focusing on bullies at all. <laughs> the bullies are so important. And it's kind of weird because we read the first five volumes and I feel like the only character who is fleshed out is Koyuki and you still don't know a ton about all the other characters. Mm hmm. Which might be for the best. I feel like Koyuki, um, I always feel like this with manga, I don't like it when they layer on character arcs too much, right? I like when each character is allowed to have their moment and at the first narrative in the story is really this young Japanese boy kind of listlessly, purpose, purposelessly living life, right? And then eventually finding his calling in uh, rock music, basically, singing and playing the guitar. And I like that focus on him and that the other characters in the story are mysterious. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't even really know that much about Ryosuke, like his time in America. Like, it's just not even part of the story yet, I feel. Which is great, yeah. I mean, a slower pace. It doesn't have to jump into everything all at once. And I feel like we're getting to know like the main character really well, so it's it's nice. <laughs> you know, from the beginning, like the first image of the manga is a picture of Koyuki, the main character, playing guitar. So you know this is coming. But the journey to get to Koyuki actually playing in front of people and and actually singing, which is his true talent, it's just winding. There's so many little things that happen in between. The whole swimming arc, he learns how to swim the butterfly. <laughs> okay, so there's two things that I really look for and I really enjoy in manga. One thing is teamwork, where you work towards a common goal. And the second thing is something that makes you feel inspired to do work of your own. And I feel like this story's got it, and so do all of the other sports manga in the world. My my favorite scene in this series is when it's right after the arc where the guitar gets broken a second time, right? Oh my god, gut-wrenching moments. The oh guitar, man. The guitar. <laughs> Because when the first guitar breaks, it's this huge moment. It's when Koyuki and Ryusuke, the mysterious guitarist player, right? It's when they have their first break in their friendship. And it's because Ryusuke thinks that Koyuki broke his most cherished possession, you know? And it was an accident, but he's just like, screw you, get out of my life. And Koyuki goes on this journey to fix the guitar. And it's so horrifying when you see how much work he has to do <laughs> and how much effort goes into it. And then finally, the guitar just gets broken again anyways, this time by a bunch of bullies instead of by a literal truck on a freeway. And like, the most ridiculous way possible. I can't believe it. Who the heck is this bully? He just takes the guitar and stomps it into the ground. And I, I don't remember both of the bullies' names, but... Do you have the feeling that the one bully who didn't destroy his guitar, who's actually good, good at playing guitar, felt bad? about his guitar getting smashed or like he made this expression that I was like is he like re remorseful or what is that supposed to mean? So that's the character's name is Hyodo and I am confused. I think that there's more to him. You can see later in volume five as well that he is starting to respect Koyuki as a guitarist and that he himself is very technically skilled with the guitar. I have a slight suspicion he's gonna end up in like a, a like a like some sort of rival band that they play against which would kind of tie this whole bullying arc into the future of their career as a rock band but hey who knows <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> i read it but i don't remember <laughs> but the the scene where the guitar is broken again by the bullies is capstoned off by this picture saying that that was the moment that Kayo uh, Koyuki started practicing the guitar like he was haunted, like he couldn't do anything but practice the guitar. 
And that moment in the manga is the most inspirational moment for me. It's when he just realizes that he, like, this is something that he needs to do and he needs to work on. And it reminds me of the things in my life that I love doing and I want to work on. Immediately after reading this series, actually, I sat down and started drawing again because that's, um, that's like my thing that when I get really impassioned, I start working on drawings. Yeah, I, I really like that that quote where his mom says like he's possessed he, he's yeah. like he must play the guitar and it it's kind of weird yeah they don't focus so much on him singing he just has that talent he doesn't work on it at all what he's working on is his guitar playing skills i mean i wonder if he actually will ever become really talented with the guitar because they don't make it seem like he's going to become like you know have that feeling the same feeling as when he sings as when he plays the guitar you know? And let's let's talk about that feeling a little bit. Um, the manga uses silence in such an interesting way. And what I mean by silence is when the manga page is just blank. And there's usually some implied noise happening in the manga. For instance, the scene where it was like he was possessed and he was practicing the guitar. Or basically every scene where Koyuki starts singing and everyone who listens is just completely surprised and... There's no words on the page. Using that technique just allows you to kind of fill in what's happening in the manga with your mind and imagine the the most amazing thing that could be happening, right? Like, ah, oh, he's practicing so hard. This practicing must be the best practicing of his life. Or he's singing so hard. This must be the greatest singing of his life. Yeah, we don't even know what kind of music they play. Well, it's like rock. <laughs> yeah, it's rock, but you don't. I don't know. I feel like you just, I, I have no idea what they're playing. You just know that it's every individual person's perfect song, <laughs> I think. I don't even think it has to be rock, necessarily. What if they're singing metal? No, they're, they're a rock band. Cause they, <laughs> I know, they're rock bands. Because they keep on referencing, like, they reference, like, Hendrix, they reference the Beatles. You, the, you learn a lot about Japanese rock culture with all of the different like side things they give you like names and you have to read it or pro wrestling i feel like that's brought up a lot for some reason yeah the mangaka his name is uh harold saku uh, sakuishi and i haven't read anything else by him i feel like i should but you can really tell he loves um swimming pro wrestling Music, I guess. Music, yeah. But there's just these, there's so much flavor in the manga of different, like, things that you get to see, you know, and that are referenced to that makes it feel really real. Like, the characters feel more real than they're just characters in a story. I like how when, when the, like, the, the title page, it says Harold Sakuishi presents Beck. <laughs> like, is he really well known? I guess that's what it makes me think. If they put his name in the same equity like it's equal to the name title of the book i feel like most of the time the names just of the author and the artist are just like tossed in there you know <laughs> yeah i think i think he's a pretty uh popular author but like i said i haven't read any of his other works but i really want to i feel like this is probably his magnum opus i <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that everybody talks about going back to what you said about how this manga has great teamwork and this manga has great a great sense of making you want to work on something and practice something, right? And it just goes to show how well the story intertwines like the classic shonen tropes into making the story about rock. So for instance, you have kind of the older male character who's almost a rival, but more of like a mental to a mentor to the younger male character. You have the very clearly set up rival band who's kind of progressing ahead of them and always sort of a... Uh, something to reach towards. You have the main character who's a young Japanese boy who's relatable and has his own special talent, but ultimately gets where he is through hard work and determination. Every Everything that you normally see, the classic shonen tropes in the story, they're just, they're done very well and they're perfectly intertwined into this kind of mov moving um, rock, like rock band narrative, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. I mean, I was going to talk about the art style, and I'm not totally sure what I want to say about the art, besides the fact that I think it it's decently hideous, but I still like it. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you this. Do... Okay, I'm pretty sure that the scenes of them playing music are traced, or at least yeah. heavily referenced. I shouldn't say traced. They're heavily referenced 
from actual musicians playing and famous pictures of rock musicians playing. Mm -hmm. You get that feeling too? For sure. There was this one... And it was of, I think it was Maho in a swimsuit. And I was like, that's just a picture of a girl in a swimsuit that he drew over. But I think that's really cool. He does have like a realistic style. And then sometimes he makes the faces where the jaw is like jutting forward. And it's just like uncanny valley, like level of human anatomy. <laughs> but, but I still like it a lot. I feel like it's lovable in the way that dog Beck is lovable. <laughs> Where you're like, he's a hideous little monster dog, a Frankenstein dog, but you still like him. So, I don't know. Normally, I'm, like, really into, like, cute. I like what shoujo looks like. I like things that look pretty. But I also like this one. I feel like the style matches with the story. Can you imagine any other style with it? Not really for me. No. His style is such a good balance between the the comedic, the kind of amazing, right? Amazing when they're performing. And then the real life. A lot of the situations do seem, while still being comedic and very full of life and action, they do seem very real as well. And I think that his style is a good middle ground between that. Also, I really appreciate the fact that the way that he draws Japanese characters, they look Japanese. And the way that he draws foreign characters oftentimes looks a little bit awkward. I think his foreign characters tend to look more ugly than the Japanese characters. What? I don't think so. Oh, I, I felt that way, especially with some of like Maho's friends. Maybe when you finally meet the, the members of the band that they're all crazy for, I'm blanking on the name, but they look pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. His, his art actually falls into a category of manga art that I really like, which is where the characters look very Japanese to me and they seem to have those kind of unique Japanese characteristics, which you don't always see in manga. I'm thinking about Chiba. Chiba is the guitarist slash rapper. Yeah, he has sort of like a, an afro and a goatee, which is a look I've seen on Japanese men before, but you don't always see it in manga, right? Or similarly, um, Saku, the guy who eventually becomes their drummer and who's um, Koyuki's best friend in school, he has very narrow eyes and a very... Yeah, he looks like a monk. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a monk, exactly. And I appreciate the way that he's drawn as well. Each character looks really unique. If, if anything, the only thing that kind of blends together in the story is that I think that the two girls look very similar, Izumi and Maho. But I can still tell them apart. It sometimes is difficult, though. I guess it's based off of the story. But isn't that kind of, like, symbolic? Isn't that why he likes both of them? <laughs> yeah. I, the the romance side of things in the series I don't really care much about. It is kind of funny all the hijinks that he gets up to with in school with Azumi, how his friend's a total pervert. But anyways. I don't really get that. I don't get why she let it slide that they were stealing her swimsuit, but... I think she just knew that he was covering for a friend. She could kind of guess what happened there. I like this stuff with Maho. That is frustrating, like, right at the end of this volume, she, like, feels betrayed because he was with another girl, and you're like, oh, all of this misunderstandings, oh no. <laughs> it was a good dramatic closer. I wanted to read five volumes because that felt like an appropriate amount, right? But then when we actually got to it, it was like, oh, I hate leaving on this stupid romantic triangle <laughs> drama BS. It's not even a romantic triangle. He just likes Maho, and he doesn't like Izumi. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's ha it has unrequited love, though. Uh, Izumi likes him. She admitted it. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't know. He's not really into her. I don't see that going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. What was your favorite thing about the first five volumes? Do you have anything specific? Yeah, it's the, it's the scene where he starts practicing like he's possessed. That's my favorite oh my scene. God. I find it the most motivational and also the most... I don't know. The Maybe the I would use the phrase life-affirming. Um... I like to read manga and then feel like it was actually worthwhile to read it afterwards. And that, that moment makes me feel like it was worth, worth it to read this manga. Yeah, they don't have a internal monologue that often. So I guess that was like a pretty spectacular moment. Mm -hmm. I, of course, like just all the moments where he's singing on stage and everyone's like, oh my god, this is the most beautiful angelic singing I've ever heard. <laughs> I went to, after reading this volume, there's a, there's a Beck anime, and I went to go um, listen to one of the scenes. And I gotta say, in the anime, it's not as spectacular, because you actually have to hear him sing. And you're like... No! Oh, that's so lame. I figured they would have made it go completely silent. 
<laughs> That's too big brained for an anime. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, like a rock anime with no rock music. What are you talking about? I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. That's the whole point. That's what makes the the manga so great. This is this is a weird reference to bring up, uh, because it's a, like an American teen novel, but. It reminds me of the perks of being a wallflower, mm -hmm. right? Where they have, there's that scene where the song isn't named in the book because it's supposed to be this representative of that teenage song that inspires you, right? And he could never find out what song it was. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mystery, exactly. But then in the movie, it's it's just David Bowie's Heroes. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yeah, I like this I've song too. I've never heard this song before. And you're like, you heard freaking heard this song before it's super famous <laughs> hey they didn't know anything about music okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyways i'm i'm ready to read the rest of beck i was so surprised how quickly these five volumes flew by yeah that's true i read them all at once i was trying to uh, squeeze them in before i went to bed last night and i kept on staying up later and later because it just kept <laughs> on getting cooler and cooler right because in the first <laughs> In the first volume, they're not even a band, but when they start actually forming the band, it gets so exciting. Well, and even at the end, in the beginning of the fifth volume is when they have their first live show together as a band. Although, do they have the drummer? Yeah, it was his friend as the drummer, or was it the old drummer? There was an old drummer who wasn't that good, but Koyuki never realized that he wasn't that good. That was a pretty good joke. <laughs> Why would he give up drumming if he's so good at drumming and then none of the guys say anything? <laughs> yeah. The little, the, it's the little things in this manga that really stand out, the little jokes as well. Mm -hmm. Should we even mention uh, Saito, the old man pervert, who, Olympic swimmer, guitarist extraordinaire? But we kind of have to, right? Because I was saying that Koyuki is the only one that they really go deep dive into. But you know what? Saito's number two. He's the <laughs> second character that you learn the most about in these first five volumes. And I love their relationship. I love their relationship, too. Such an important influence. His mentor, his Jiraiya. It's almost a trope, but it's done so well in the series, which is the pervy old man with wisdom. Years and years of experience and wisdom. And what he teaches Koyuki is how to practice and how dedicated you need to be in order to compete against the world, right? Where uh, Saito is an Olympic swimmer and he also does guitar competitions as well. They're like music competitions. And he knows what it takes to in order to win those things. And that's he pushes Koyuki in the exact way that he needs to be pushed. Except he doesn't at first with guitar. And Koyuki has to like ask him to be as hard as on him as he is with swimming as he is with him on guitar. Yeah, I like their relationship a lot. I hope that they don't totally lose contact. Yeah, that's true. I love the swimming scenes. The scenes of him being a perv. Honestly, after this many years of reading manga, I just glaze over him now. I don't think it's funny, but I don't even think it's weird anymore. It's just what it is. <laughs> it's a manga for boys. <laughs> I know. What's up with his old friend? Why was he even friends with him? I just don't get that. I'm so happy that he has an actual friend at school now. Yeah, but final thoughts? This manga rules. Can't, Can't wait, wait to, to read, read more. more. Yep. Can't can't wait to read, to read more. more. 